Hello, I'm Elijah Roberts, a civil technical specialist here at ATG USA. And today I'll be going over some of the CTC tools in the Sim Manager suite. Those are located right here in Layer Box and include these two right here Export DWG Layers and Create Edit DWG Layers. So to start off, I'm going to come up here and open the Export DWG Layers command. It's going to export my drawing layer list. This allows me to grab my current drawing. I can also grab some external references along with some additional drawings, as you can see right here. There are also some features down here. I can also filter some layers using layer filters or simple text filters like this, for example. We can pull in the line type from a particular LIN file that it found in our options. Okay, say you're making an overhaul and cleaning up everything and you want to start from scratch starting with a fresh new template of course if I wanted to bring in some layers I could go to the design center browse out the drawing and drag those layers in I want to show you the process of what sim manager suite can do for you in dealing with layers so today I will show how to modify layers from our ATG starter template so the first thing I want to do is, is set up things in here by using Layer Boss to maintain my template. As we all know, there are a number of things we can do in the Layer Manager, but what we want to do is work in Excel because it's clearly a much more faster interface. So now we will go up here to Layer Boss and we are going to select the export DWG layers command like I did earlier. So now we are in here, we are going to export the whole list because we simply want to build our Excel file for our current template. Now this is what I mean when I say smart exports. The line types that are in the drawing get exported with this along with this other stuff as you can see. So what kind of changes can we do? Let's first go ahead and sort this. Maybe there are a few of these layers in here that we don't want anymore. I can simply select them and delete them. I'm just cleaning up my template. This makes for quick and easy maintenance. Any major changes I need, I can do very easily in Excel. Perhaps it's some color changing. We want to set the color of some of these layers here to white. It's as easy as this. So now I just save that file and then go back into Civil 3D. I go to the Create Edit DWG Layers. This dialog box pops up. And then I simply point to that Excel file. And I can either update my current drawing, or I can browse to another one as well. Then I get options down here for syncing the drawing layers. And what that means is, if I've deleted layers from the Excel sheet, they also will delete from the template itself. And that's what I want to do. If I select Add to Drawing Layers right here, it wouldn't delete anything. It would be a quick way to import a bunch of layers without deleting anything that didn't reside inside the Excel sheet. Now I'm going down here and I hit next. What I get is a report of what it has created for me. So new layers would show up here if I created any new layers. I've got updated layers. Here you can see that's where I changed all those colors. I have a bunch of unchanged layers here. And then next I have duplicate layers. This deals with the fact that Excel is a flexible interface. What if, for example, I accidentally have the same layer in here twice? If I save that Excel file and I come back to here and I reload this, we now see we have a duplicate layer. It does a check for me and it finds that stuff. It's smart for me. Then I go back, delete the duplicate, and then save and hit reload, and this now will update it. Now under deleted layers, it doesn't show the layers that I actually deleted, but if you go right here, they're under cannot delete. 
you see there are some references. Basically, these layers are being used in styles. That's what's going on here. So I can go to these layers, for example. I want to know exactly where they're being used. I can click this little button right here, and this will launch Template Tracker. This is another tool set that is built right into Layer Boss, so I can use it. If I want to know where this is, I can click onto it, and here under References, it tells me where it's being used. I can then click onto Edit Style Layers and launch onto those style layers. Or I can simply swap that out for whatever I need. Now let's close out of that, and now you're going to see it refresh. And now you see it here in the deleted layers. So I can go down to swap, change them to whatever I want, but make sure to uncheck ignore because it won't delete them if that is selected. And then I can click OK. And now if I open my layer dialog box, I've trimmed out those layers and they are stripped from those styles. And with the combination of layer boss and the template tracker, it's a quick and easier way to find out what layers are being used and where. It's great for maintaining your templates and keeping them clean and precise with exactly what you want in them. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.